India is union of states, not a colony of, not a colony of Delhi. Yes. Sir, we don't want any special status. Kerala doesn't want any special status. Give us some status. Yes. Some status. Amit Shah, you are the most important man. John Bhatta Sinde, eighty meter of Munnari. That is why Kerala. Delhi de colony on the Mela, Kerala de Patea, Padavi on the Venda, where a Samstan and the Padavi Matra and Tonal Madinana, Riaja Sabel, John Putas, Thairi Burum, Nermela Sidaramuda, Aushapata. Time barring the point of Kurachiva Kanamanum, Kendra Samadri, Pangacha Thirioda, Britas, Tande, Prasangat and Munia than Aushapato, either day, Chair Lid in the Raja Shukla, Britas in the Aprasang and Kelkan, so they would a Kelkan, Pangacha Thirioda, Aushap. Kendra Auganakadre, Supreme Court of Poe, Kerala Tanadre. Supreme Court is the Nirishnangal, Kendra, and Nugula Mayrin and Nana, we don't want any special status. Kerala doesn't want any special status. Give us some status. Yes. Some status. Consider as a state of India. That's all. Yes. So the other day, Honorable Finance Minister, while speaking, she was saying that Kerala went to Supreme Court and Supreme Court's remarks were in favor of the Sandra government. Absolutely wrong. Sir. The Supreme Court decided to refer the matter to the constitutional bench because the court found it to be substantive enough for further perusal. Let me make it very clear. Sir, Kerala pleaded with the union government in an unprecedented way. Kerala contributed 6,000 crore for acquisition of land for the construction of the National Highway. Sir, why we say, why we say the states are being relegated, the principles of federalism are being scuttled. I will cite you one statistic. 2019-20, Niraj Bhai Suniye, Yansi. The total cess and surcharges collected was 2,54,544 crore. 2023-24, the surcharges and cess collected by the sender went up to 5 lakh crore. You address to me, not to Neeraj. 96.81 percent increase happened there. That means the revenue of the central government in the form of cess and surcharges increased by 96 percent. Sir, every time finance minister, if the states are willing, we will put the petroleum products under GST. As though the states are blocking, the union is ever willing to help the petroleum consumers Sir, I will dole out other statistics. Who is responsible for the hike in the retail price of petroleum and diesel? One statistics. 2023-24, the union government has amassed an astounding sum of, sir, please note this, 4,32,394 crores from petroleum sector through various taxes and says, Sir, all the states put together, when the states garnered 4,32,000, all the states put together, you know what is the amount? 3,18,000 crore only. And last year, there has been an increase of 4,327 crores compared to the previous year. Whereas the state, the share went down by 1,889 crores. This is a real picture. Sir, 
another thing now their pet project is centrally sponsored scheme i have been always saying that if they are interested let them come up with central sector scheme which is funded fully by the union government but cleverly deftly the central sector scheme allocation has been going down whereas the centrally sponsored schemes the project scheme is going up i will tell you sir 23 24 it was 4 lakh 60000 crore centrally sponsored scheme ka total amount it went up to 5 lakh 5978 crore in 24 25 the 40% of that amount that tend amount to be almost 2 lakhs crore should be borne by the states you are penalized the states sir in the budget in the budget for how many i'll tell you in the budget there is no running committee let him come there have been several corridors i won't Otherwise, i won't name the corridors time. several industrial corridors we have been telling kochi bangalore corridor no mention now 100 industrial parks are being declared not even a single industrial park in kerala there is a natural calamity that you struck struck kerala sir what has happened yesterday i spoke about how we are being humiliated there is a provision in national disaster management policy to declare it as a calamity of severe nature why they are not doing it i would request the government the prime minister intends to visit kerala let him declare the wayanad calamity as a calamity of severe nature yes. if he is not doing it you are you don't have a cause to share with kerala and i would say that you will continue to be and the kerala sir railway ke bare mein jitna bola hai kavach ke liye pichle saal itna 17000 crore allocated kiya ye paisa bhi kharch kiya nahi abhi they are quite about it and they talk about the safety of the railways are they genuinely interested in the safety of indian railways sir one minute one minute sir this i will show you i will expose how this government doesn't walk the talk in the economic survey they said we need to have fta from china again on 30th july the minister of commerce saying that there is no rethinking at present to support chinese investment and again again on 3rd august the secretary promotion of industry and internal trade mr rajesh kumar says that while speeding up of approvals of fdi china should be considered who is the master sir the minister or the secretary is there a collective government they are talking absolutely contradictory with regard to the policy of the government of india at the end i would only urge upon this government treasury benches please have little consideration for states like kerala all the states even bihar andhra you declare lot of projects but i am sure that i am sure that i am sure that you are going to take them at the garden path you will be repeating the bluffs and cheating which happened earlier i would Thank urge you. upon the government be sincere to the people of india thank you, thank you. Thank you.